is up guys it's jimbo here and welcome to another star wars outlaws video now i did initially upload a video to do with the story trailer but literally as i was making an edit to it to re-upload it we had a whole bunch of new gameplay details thanks to an article from game informer so i'm going to quickly recap the uh, story details that we've got go through some other things as well after we've gone through the game informer stuff so we're going to upload this all as like one big thing rather than trying to like upload like a mishmash of a video that doesn't really make sense and in future i'm going to try and be a little bit more alert whenever we have any specific star wars outlaws news because i really want to cover this game so without further ado let's jump into the video so behind me is the story trailer that released last night i didn't do a video on it straight away because I was making something with Final Shape and then I was making a script for the video and things didn't really line up yesterday very well for the stuff that was going on. But we obviously have some more information so that but I wanted to go through some of the uh, quick recap details that we got from a really good image that I have right here, which I'll also leave the full link uh, in the description to both the article uh, and this. This right here is a... Um, like recap from a, a tw known tweeter called shinobi that basically recaps a whole bunch of stuff uh, and it's really handy so as you can see uh, on the side we have that there's the confirmed syndicates in the game which is zerik besh which is um Slero's, uh, main uh syndicate he's this big multi like billion dollar like credit owner like basically a galactic elite and he's trying to uh, show everyone how strong his syndicate is and he's brought all the other syndicates together which includes the pike syndicate which has been in a lot of the other um, movies and star wars media uh, from different, different capacities there's also the hut cartel which means we get to see our big fat favorite slug uh, the uh, jab of the hut and also salacious b crumb we did get a little image of him i'm super excited to see him again and then we also got to see the crimson dawn which is uh, if you know them they are from uh the han solo movie where amelia clark played lady kira i think it is uh, and she's going to be in this game it was confirmed in the game informer article as well and then the ashiga clan is a brand new clan that is um, a collaboration between massive and lucasfilm they've done this a lot uh, in the game for a lot of different things you're going to be film forming alliances with the syndicates and playing them off one another more about that uh, in the article there's a lot of uh, gameplay specific stuff here that you get to see in the trailer but one of the core pillars of the story is there's a guy called Jalen that has uh, brought you on to basically pull off a massive heist which is basically taking a bunch of money from Slero after you kind of did a bad job for him and then we're getting hunted down because we did a bad job by Vale who is uh, a known bounty hunter You'll obviously cross paths with a bunch of stuff like, uh, like people in the game. So yeah, that's kind of a, a, a loose recap. Um, there's plenty of other stuff that's been talked about. But let's actually talk about the Game Informer article because there's a lot of juicy stuff in there that I want to go through. The Game Informer article literally dropped as I was making the edit. So I decided to you know have a skim read through this and then went through uh, all of the details and and kind of summarized a couple of the, the, the fun stuff here. So in the first little section, we get to find out about more locations and what we're actually doing and what they're going to be like when we go there. So uh, we get to see several planets such as Tatooine, Hijimi, Akiva. But the demo that the this particular uh, writer was on was on uh, Toshara, which is uh, a new moon created between Massive, Art, uh, Massive Entertainment and Lucas games which has been done for a multitude of other things but the main city that we're going to is miragana and uh, they also go on to say that a lot of the different locations in the game are try the at least the game director the creative director wanted them to be compact and dense with activities rather than being these big open areas that you can kind of get lost in and there isn't really much to do so i like that and they also talk about here uh, in each city you visit, there's always a central location for getting the, the lay of the land, intel, finding work and stuff like that. Uh, and there will also be a uh, primary syndicate that owns whatever city that may be. So in this case, it's the Pike Syndicate. They also uh, have a really cool thing here, which is they've got like shops here, arcade games, betting areas, and the Inv Universe card game, which is Sabak. If we can play this, or Sabak, if we can play this like we can with uh, Gwent, 
I'm going to spend a whole lot of time here uh, betting a whole bunch of money. So yeah, that's uh, at least pretty cool. The next paragraph goes into how uh, the uh, character of Nyx is able to be used to infiltrate specific areas because in this instance, they were trying to get it to uh, make some more reputation with the Pike Syndicate so they can actually get in you know, more jobs and build up this reputation. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. Uh, and basically, she gets thrown out. Uh, but in the meantime, Nyx actually steals a ring. Uh, and then there's a broker that kind of says, don't do that. But I need you to go and steal something from um, the you know, Pike Syndicate, from a Pike Stronghold. They also have a little um, you know, paragraph here, which I've already talked about, which is about uh, all of the, the reputation system uh, and the different clans that are in the game. But here is the, the really cool part. So the reputation system represents your standing with four syndicates, ranging from terrible to excellent for each individual group. Your reputation with each syndicate determines how the criminal organization treats you. Having a good reputation may mean they let you walk freely into their hideouts, offer you special stock, discounts at shops, territories, uh, and also get you out of a hairy situation if you're in one with another syndicate or even the empire. So maybe they remove a bounty or they come and help you in a fight. I'm not really sure what you can say there, but I like this. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, aspects of the game. It kind of reminds me, not exactly like the Nemesis system uh, in Warner Brothers. It's not exactly the same system, but I like this a lot. Uh, here, though, they go and talk about uh, how you know the reputation is currently poor with the Pike Syndicate. Uh, and this entire paragraph is talking about stealth and uh, how they can use Nyx to be able to get into specific areas, distract guards to go stealthy, uh, using like a grapple hook and such like that. Uh, and then like basically talking about giving the player agency to um, influence how they play the game. And then obviously here, a lot of things go to crap because uh, they don't, uh, uh, they didn't think to disable the alarm system meaning everything kind of goes wild uh, and, you know, the bodies start piling up, the location uh, basically increased intensity. Uh, so at risk of exposing myself and doing something rash, I make a break for it in breaking line of sight with the guards. A blue silhouette shows my last known location. Uh, for, uh, first place, they'll look before finding out and trying to find me. It uses a temporary de-escalation to make a break for the generators. After quietly taking down the guards stationed by them, I deactivate both generators and go and retrieve what I came for. So... As you can see, you know, there's a little bit of play our agency. These next couple of paragraphs is really important for the actual reputation system in the game. So what you can do is access the file that um, the person got uh, and basically um, like tell Gorak that someone underneath him is trying to take him out uh, and you can actually, you know, go and have a mutual benefit. Or you can take the uh, file that you have to a uh, member of the Crimson Dawn. So you can kind of play off of each other. Like, do you, you know, go and become a little bit more associated with the Crimson Dawn? Uh, or do you try and increase the reputation with the Pike Syndicate? It's going to be down to whatever the player wants to do. Uh, and I also like the fact that here, um, there's a part for uh, Kay's Blaster that you can go and retrieve. But unfortunately, uh, they don't have a, a good, uh, like, a good enough reputation to be able to walk in without resistance. So another stealth mission is basically going to occur. This last section of the article talks about how the uh, journalists went out and saw a lot of the uh, rest of um, Tashara. They get to go on like the, the speeder bike and they get to go to where Jaunter's Hope is to get the Trailblazer, which is the ship. They also talked about uh, in this paragraph here about um, being able to get uh, upgrades and abilities for your weapons, which means that you can solve environmental puzzles and have an advantage over droid enemies, that type of thing. Uh, and the, the cool thing about this is uh, this paragraph here, which is unfortunately, just as I was starting to get a true feel for the gameplay loop of Star Wars Outlaws, my session ended. I didn't have the opportunity to explore the reputation system truly, but I love the notion of keeping up with experiences with various syndicates, not to mention making sure not to annoy the Empire too much. The last paragraph as well is uh, this statement here. Massive entertainment came into the project uh, to create the ultimate scoundrel experience set in the Star Wars galaxy. What I've seen and planned is important. Uh, it has a lot of the important elements in place to accomplish that goal. 
We also know that the release date of the game is August 30th. So that is a massive date on the calendar. And also the Ubisoft Forward event on the 10th of June. We'll have more details about this. Now, before I go and finish out the video, I do want to talk about a little bit of controversy, which is to do with this. These uh, are the additions that you're going to get for Star Wars Outlaws. I'm not going to try and defend the prices of them because they are kind of ludicrous. But the base edition is normal £60, uh, probably $70 now. Uh, I'm not too sure what the like exchange is. And that's just for the base game and like a, a bonus pack. The gold edition is what I would say is the good middle ground. But it's also quite expensive as well. It's going to be like $100 for, for most people, especially if you're in America. You get a season pass and three days early access. Then the Ultimate Edition, you get all the same stuff, but you get a digital art book, which is obviously worth quite a bit. And then two extra um, uh, like bundles that you can use. And for £115 for me, it's really expensive. And if you're not a Star Wars fan, and if you're not 100% dedicated to this game, and you're really on the fence, and you don't know, you know if you trust AAA games at the moment, these prices are very ludicrous they're very expensive uh, like i can't really justify them myself the best thing that i would do it was it was if you were going to do this is either wait the three days and buy the standard edition and then maybe buy the season pass later down the line or if you're really invested get the gold edition and that was be as far as i go that's entirely up to you i'm not going to try and influence your purse purchase if you think these prices are above your like budget range then don't do that um yeah there's not really more much else i can say here the price of games nowadays are getting ridiculous and yeah it, there's nothing more else that i kind of go through but so end on more of a positive note i'm very excited about this article the story trailer was excellent and uh, all these gameplay details really entices the experience and makes me excited for the rest of like uh, the information that we get before star wars outlaws launches on august 30th so Thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, this is a bit of like a, a mess around like type of stuff. Uh, you know, mix and match about it, but this gameplay information is all, uh, all good as well. If you've enjoyed this and this style of video, leave a like on the channel. Leave a comment in the comment section to tell me about if you enjoyed this video or not. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, this has been Jimbo, and I'll see you guys next time.